Hi, Barbie. At the time I'm recording this, we are less than one month away from the Barbie movie. The trailer was amazing. I loved all the outfits and this one was my personal favorite. I think it's such a fun costume. So I will be going over how to do this makeup transformation and then also how I made this hat. I did buy this bodysuit but made everything else. So there's some DIYs in here. I also am using a bunch of Barbie makeup from different collections that I have collected and just some pretty makeup that I think Barbie lovers will love like this one. So anyways, let's get started with the makeup and I really hope you guys enjoy this video. And from brunette to blonde, let's get our Barbie products out of this vintage inspired makeup case. With any makeup, you wanna have hydrated skin. This is the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. Glam Glow also sells this without the Barbie packaging. This one was limited edition, but you can find it on eBay. Gives a gorgeous glow, you can wear this on its own, but I'm gonna go a little bit more sculpted to get the Margot vibe. Lawless Forget the Filler Overnight Lip Plumping Mask. This is such a favorite of mine. I love to apply it as I'm doing the rest of my makeup for pillowy soft lips. Now that we have the prep steps done, let's go for a lightweight foundation that's perfect for summer. My favorite for the past year has been the Beautiful Skin Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. This one is in the shade five. And if you don't wanna to splurge too much on your foundation, the L'Oreal True Match Hyaluronic Tinted Serum is really similar. This was my first time using this Makeup Forever sculpting palette and it's so nice to use. I could go in, add some lightness to my jawbone like Margot Robbie, makes it a little bit wider. Touched up under my eyes with a different peach shade in the palette to conceal some darkness there. It's so much more lightweight than going in with the concealer. And to go Malibu Barbie, add some cream bronzer throughout the cheekbones, under the jawline. My favorite powders to set are from the brand Florisys. I love their pressed powder and their loose powders. It was pretty hot, so I decided to go with a loose powder over my T-zone. And you really can't go wrong with these powders. They never look very powdery. Sorry, I said powder so many times on the skin and they set beautifully. Another Barbie collab product. This is the Pure Malibu Barbie six piece blush set. I used a mix of the coral shade and then the pink on the apples of the cheeks. If you can't get your hands on this palette, the Benefit Boxo powders would work perfect for this. I freaking love Benefit. I think they would make such a cute Barbie collab as well. Also adding a touch of pink through the eye. I'm gonna do this with eyeshadow later, but if you don't have a pink eyeshadow, then you can always use your blush. Nose contour time. This is what really helps me look more like Margot Robbie, but I'd recommend to just contour to match your own features. Enhance what you already have, because if you do go against your features with like subtle lines like I'm doing, it can look really funny in person. I've just done it many times where I subtly add in kind of a suggestion of what I want you to see. It works on my nose because I don't really have any strong bone structure. Finishing up the nose with some blush at the top of the nose bridge. ColourPop Barbie Collab is my all-time favorite ColourPop collection. It is on sale right now, and you can use my code Jackie at checkout. I'm not sure if that'll work on sale items, but the highlighter is stunning and a must-have. Now that I've powdered and the majority of the skin is matte, adding a bit of shine through the nose, cheeks, and chin really gives that Barbie skin appearance. As I mentioned, I do have the full Malibu Barbie collection from ColourPop. If you want to see a review and my take on the Malibu Barbie look just with my brown hair, it was giving more Teresa, I'll have that one linked. But since I already used the palette there, I thought I would show this Flower Nose Beauty Chocolate Chop palette because it's giving the click and aquamarine mixed. I feel like Barbie girls would appreciate that. Starting with a light matte shadow, take this under the brow bone. Oops, and I almost forgot brows filling in some sparse areas and extending the tail of my brow. Here I'm using the pink shadow in the palette all over the lid as a base. Then with a matte taupe, blending out through the outer V. 
With the light matte shadow once again, add this to the lid by the lash line. This is kind of similar to Barbie's classic makeup, just way toned down, really wearable. So instead of it being a cut crease, it's something simple and easy, but it still has some of the tones from the iconic Barbie makeup look. Maybe this is just what I wanted to see. I looked at a lot of behind the scenes photos and a lot of the pictures were washed out just from the natural light, but it'll be interesting to see what this makeup looks like on the big screen when it's all color graded. But I swear I saw a little pop of pink in some of the photos, so I went with that. Also smudging this matte taupe upward from the top lash line and let's define with eyeliner. Smudging back and forth throughout the bottom lashes. This one is by Charlotte Tilbury, it's a duo liner. Almost finished it, but another favorite from the drugstore is the Revlon Vinyl Liners. They're really creamy, great drugstore pick. Pop of sheen in the inner corner of the eye. I use the same highlight from ColourPop, and again with the cute eyeshadow palette, smoking out black eyeshadow, and we're pretty much done here. Just curl your lashes and apply your favorite mascara, and I am wearing colored lenses from April Eye. I wore a more natural pair in this Elle Fanning transformation that I recreated from the Met Gala this year. I've been doing a lot of blonde looks and this is the same wig, just restyled. Missed opportunity, but Revlon does have a collab with Barbie and their eyelash curler is adorable. I didn't see any false lashes used and I honestly don't think I've really seen Margot Robbie ever wear falsies. She's such a natural beauty. They never really put too much makeup on her in movies or red carpets. For lips, I'm using the shade Grunge from ColourPop keeping my lip shape very straight and defining my cupid's bow. I've pooped on the ColourPop lip liners before because when I overline my top lip in like a round shape, I do find that this one smudges a bit, but if you're lining your natural lips, these work great. They're cost effective. They have so many shades. I love how this looks completely filled in for the lip too. I would wear this lip color on its own, but because it's a Barbie look, let's add in a brighter pink. This is the shade Leader from Hourglass. It is so pretty. Of course, you can always find a similar drugstore shade as well. As always, I'll have all the Barbie makeup products that I've been using listed over on my Shop My page. You can find the costume just linked in the shopping section of YouTube now. But over on my Shop My, which is my blog, you can see all of my tutorials in one place and all the products listed. A great summer product that I've been loving is by Naked Sundays and it's a spray on SPF that you can use to reapply SPF after makeup. I could go on and on about Barbie collabs. I love to collect them. This pure gloss is so stunning and the applicator is in the shape of lips, but let's drive to the beach, shall we? Hi, Ken. I'm on my way to Public Beach. We're headed to St. Augustine Beach. I think it'll look kind of like Venice Beach, hopefully, but um, I know that's where they did film for this scene. And I brought along another Barbie collab product. This is a sparkle spray and it looks like a potion I would have made as a kid. <laughs> oh, we'll start. It's okay, we'll start. Keep it. Oh yeah. Okay, you gotta cut me out saying oh yeah, but I'm skating. Look at his shorts. <laughs> created this hat as well as the knee pads and skates and then just keep on watching I did buy this and I'll have it linked down below roller skate DIY you could easily do these same steps to sneakers I'm gonna breeze by it First, taking off the laces. I'm gonna change the tongue to white and I'm using duct tape just so it's not permanent because this sparkle's so pretty. Have a white tongue now, sun's coming up. Now I have this fabric from an old t-shirt and I'm gonna puncture holes where the wheels are and then basically just wrap it around and tape it in place. <laughs> Pulled the wheels through. Looks like a horsey. Yay! 
Okay, so I've taped it temporarily around and this all looks so bad. So I'm gonna add some pink tape and touch it up. The wheels are pretty good, but I am gonna add the same tape to match. Here's my temporary Barbie roller skates. I added some fabric around existing roller skates that I had. I just didn't want to paint them and wreck them. And then some duct tape. Added some different laces and voila. Now for the elbow and knee pads. I had some pink ones and these would be cute. You can switch up the colors and people will still understand the reference I feel like, but if you want to go more exact, you can spray paint. A Barbie's knee pads. I'm out in my backyard. I have this fluorescent spray paint. Let's spray. To make sure the elbow pads and knee pads stayed put, I added some bright duct tape around them. I found this at Walmart. Strapped in. I'm stuck. Oh. I'm stuck. <laughs> and as for the hat, there are cute puffy visors on Amazon. Looking at a picture of the print, I'm starting by creating a map of the colors. I'm using some neon spray paints on a brush. If you can't get the exact leotard and you want to do your own take on it, you can find an 80s or 90s bathing suit and then match the print to your visor. You can still do the same DIY and just change the print. I think it would be really cool and more your own because this Halloween, I feel like it's going to look like this. Hi Barbie! Hi Barbie! Hi Barbie! Hi Barbie! Hi Barbie! Hi Barbie! Ugh. Hi Ken! I don't typically feature DIYs, I usually just do them off camera to add to the makeup tutorial, but let me know if you enjoyed this and if you're still watching, comment the pop culture password. Come on Barbie, let's go party! For more vlogs, if you want to see what I get up to each week, follow my second channel. <laughs> or if you're in the mood for more trendy makeup looks, check out this Douyin makeup look that I posted last. I used really cute products in that video as well. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one.